Welcome to the Emperor Valley Zoo in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm zoological officer Charlene Khan and today let's tour the zoo. We are going to tour a part of the zoo this morning and you guys at home are going to join me as you see the animals live. We all know that we love our animals and we're bringing the animals live to you all as you keep safe at home. We know all of the families and the children and students are home right now. So this is where not only you still get to see the animals, but you get to keep learning about them. So just to tell you a little bit about the Ember Valley Zoo, the zoo started, a little bit of history, the zoo opened its gates to the public many decades ago in 1952 and here lives all different types of animals in our collection from local animals to foreign species like lions and tigers and giraffes and so on. So today you guys are going to come along with me for a tour of the African exhibit at the Emperor Valley Zoo where we are going to see and learn about live different African animals here at the zoo. At this time, we, our staff, uh, while keeping safe, we continue to look after our animals, ensuring their welfare is best taken care of while following our COVID-19 safety regulations. So as you keep safe at home, let's start the zoo tour of the African exhibit. This is part one of our tour. While you come along with our staff here, at the Emperor Valley Zoo. So I sit back, enjoy everyone. And the first animal which I'll be showing you is one of the most iconic animals on the planet known for its coat. So let's have a closer look at this animal. So you guys come along with me and let's have a look at some of the African exhibit animals here at the Emperor Valley Zoo. So this first animal which you'll be seeing is a zebra. This is Zoe the zebra. Now Zoe is a plains zebra and zebras are known for that iconic coat pattern. They are known for that white and black stripes. This morning we have zoo staff Justin Singh who will be assisting me in feeding Zoe some treats today. Zoe's favorite treats are carrot sticks as well as zebra biscuits. So other than her regular food of grasses, which they naturally eat in the wild, Zoe enjoy munching on her carrot sticks. So let's talk some more about the plains zebra. There are three types of zebras living in the wild in Africa, the mountain zebra, the gravy zebra, and the third kind, the plains zebra, like Zoe the zebra. Zoe is about four years old. She continues to progress very well at the zoo. We do plan to add more zebras to our collection. And as I said, just look at that coat pattern. Zebras are one of the most iconic animals in the animal kingdom. They are portrayed a lot in cartoons and movies, in storybooks because of their coloration. Now, the question of the day, while Zoe snacks on her carrot sticks, um, why does a zebra have stripes? Why are they black and white? Well, scientists are not too sure, but they have come up with different theories. So some scientists think that their stripes help zebras to camouflage from predators. Now, who is a zebra's predator? Well, lions and hyenas on the African savannas are a threat to zebras. So when they're in a herd, those stripes may confuse the predator, so it's difficult to pick out individual zebras. So they have a fighting chance for survival out there. While other scientists believe that their stripes can actually help zebras recognize each other in a herd because every single stripe is unique. So this is Zoe the zebra here at the Emperor Valley Zoo. Zebras are mammals, they are herbivores, they are plant eaters, they are grazers, they have four legs. 
Isn't she a beauty? Yes, Zoe. She knows her name and she is full of personality. Look at that mane. Beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> she is liked by lots of kids who visit the zoo um, when it was safe to do so. Lots of kids like her. So I hope that you all learned a fact or two more about Zoe the zebra. So let's move along here at the Emperor Valley Zoo where we are going to see a second animal on our first tour of the zoo here. And now these are giants. I know lots of families out there, lots of children really enjoy learning about these animals. They are larger than life. We've got two of them here and they're quite popular among not only um, by the public but by our staff as well. So these are giraffes. So we've got two giraffes here at the Emperor Valley Zoo. Their names are Melman and Mandela. I know lots of you have seen the gir giraffes before but right now as we're keeping safe at home let us staff here bring the giraffe to you. So we can see here one of our giraffes, zookeeper there, Justin. He is giving the giraffes his treat. It's treat time for our animals on exhibit. And you can see Mandela to the back there. Mandela is going for a walk all the way to the back. Now giraffes are the world's largest land mammal yes they can reach a towering 19 feet tall and weigh up to 2800 pounds that is just incredible amazing animal large and let's see the giraffe a little bit close up right here at the zoo everybody have a look and enjoy while we learn some more facts about this animal. This is Melman. Good morning, Melman. I hope you guys that are looking on, um, enjoying seeing the giraffe live. We are bringing the animals live to you guys because we know the students at home, the kids at home right now, while we keep safe. So we want to bring um, our animals to you where you can keep learning about them. So this is Malman the giraffe, his best friend Mandela. You can see him is to the back. Mandela decided to go for a walk this morning. Now giraffes are known for those that coat pattern. Every giraffe has a unique pat coat pattern, a different pattern of spots, just like humans with their fingerprints. Now, did you know? So let's give some quick facts about giraffes. They're eyes the size of golf balls those horn-like structures on top of their head are called ossicones and males of a group they use those ossicones to battle in a in a behavior called necking where they decide that's decision making among males giraffe in a group of giraffes now they have long eyelashes and giraffes have a 21 inch tongue so let me see your tongue, Melman. Can we see your tongue, please? Yes, their tongues can reach 21 inches. Look at that, everybody. Look at its tongue. Whoa. Good boy, Melman. That tongue can reach up to 21 inches in length. And if you look closely, the part of the tongue that sticks out their mouth is dark in color. Why is it dark? Well, it's believed that it helps protect their tongue from getting sunburned. They use their tongues to pluck tasty leaves and buds off treetops. They, they're herbivores. They're one of their favorite food in the wild in Africa on the savannas are uh, acacias. Good boy, Melman. So you guys are seeing that long tongue. So their tongues, remember they don't have hands. So their tongues help them to feed and get those yummy leaves off trees. Just look at his size. Giraffes have the same amount of vertebrae, which is interesting, in 
and their long necks just like us humans which has seven vertebrae except each of their vertebrae measures about 10 inches long their eyes as i said size of golf ball their feet are the size of a dinner plate and their heart is two feet long and weighs up to 25 pounds these animals are just magnificent and what is interesting too and quite concerning is that giraffes are silently disappearing of the face of the earth so it's very important to conserve giraffes before it's too late so melman thank you for letting us learn some more about you today <laughs> he's en he enjoying his treats these are healthy snacks which we're giving them the giraffe biscuits and they ate all of their breakfast this morning of yummy fresh acacia leaves oh the, <laughs> he gave us one last tease there before we go so these are our giraffes melman the giraffe and mandela standing to the back there mandela decided to go exploring this morning at the zoo so are you guys ready to see and another African animal at the Emperor Valley Zoo. While we say bye bye to Melman. Bye, Melman. There he goes. What a beauty. Remember, it's the largest land mammal on earth. For you, those of you who are now joining us, we're live at the Emperor Valley Zoo and you guys are taking a tour with our staff here this morning where we are touring part of the zoo. This is part one of our live tour where you're seeing African animals in our African exhibit. We saw the zebra, we saw the giraffes. What other animals in our African exhibit um, lives here? Well, now we have this animal which is one of my favorites because i've been working closely with this animal since he was born at the zoo this is harold the mandrel so let's have a look at harold the mandrel he's in his exhibit right here so while i tell you a little bit more about harold so hi again everybody so harold is right behind me um mandrels are the world's largest monkeys and they are said to be perhaps the most colorful as well males grow larger than females and males like harold could get over 70 pounds harold was born here at the emperor valley zoo his parents live all the way in that exhibit and if you just look up he has this really incredible exhibit here built within the trees built within the topography built within nature this is all part of the ongoing upgrade at the zoo here Harold and um, as I said Mandrill and he is just like one of that iconic characters in the Lion King movie Rafiki so bright colors and the colors are said to get more bright as the animal is excited so that's an interesting fact about Mandrill so I'm gonna take you a little bit closer Harold and I share a close relationship as and one of the staff have been caring for him since he was born here at the zoo. So let's have a look and learn some more about the manjo. So let's go along, guys. So we are touring the African exhibit here at the Emperor Valley Zoo and you're watching Harold the Mandrill. Harold is enjoying munching on some treats which he received this morning. You can see those bright colors on his faces. Mandrills have built-in cheek pouches as you can see both sides of his cheek there he has cheek pouches and naturally in the wild they live in equatorial africa as they roam through the forest any extra food that they collect they would store it in their cheek pouches and eat it later on so you can see how he's enjoying his snack in the wild they would eat 
lots of fruits and plants. They're omnivores and they can also eat small insects and so on. So this is Harold the mandrel. Harold is 10 years old. He continues to progress very well. He's an adult male mammal. And look at those canines. Did you see his canines? Wow. Those canines can grow up to two inches or sometimes more in length. Now, ha uh, mandrels, they use body language and facial gestures and vocalizations for communications. And bearing those canines are thought to be a friendly gesture among mandrels. Mandrels use their forelimbs or their hands just like us. If you look closely, you can see how he's holding his snack there while he bring it up to his mouth. Similar to us when if we are having our snacks at home. So same way, you can see all of his colors. They're mammals, they're warm blooded, body covered with fur. You can see his small ears on his head and you can see the browns and creams, blacks and grays of his coat. So this is Harold the Mandrel. Harold was born here at the Emperor Valley Zoo in 2010. He's 10 years old. He will turn 11 this year. He's enjoying his morning treat. Harold also loves to eat lots of leaves and he particularly loves his animal enrichment activities, which our staff provide for him on a daily basis. So he loves um, being enriched with those activities. I want to show you his forelimbs. You can see his hind limbs and his forelimbs which are his hands and feet looks very similar to ours in a sense are you enjoying those snacks Harold? he most definitely is mantras live in a troop in the wild and they move along the forest floor um, searching for food. They are good climbers as well and they would climb trees and they would often sleep in trees. So mandrels are the world's largest monkey species and perhaps the most colorful mammal on earth. Just look at those colors. So if you're now joining us, I'm Zoological Officer Charlene Khan along with his staff member Justin Singh and we are bringing the animals live to you guys while you keep safe at home. This is Harold the Mandrel. <laughs> Taking a little morning scratch there Harold. All live on camera so you guys are getting to see everything this morning. So as we move along in our African exhibit here at the Emperor Valley Zoo, we are going to see the next animal on our list. So let me give you some hints. Maybe you can figure out what animal is next. This is another mammal. Her body is covered with black hair fur. Highly intelligent and they live in the wild in West and Central Africa. Can you figure out what this is? She is quite popular um, among lots of families who would normally visit the zoo um, when it was safe to do so. Um, she's been here for a really long time. She's an older girl um, and she is quite fond of zoo stuff. So if you haven't figured out as yet, you are going to get a glimpse of Sudi the chimpanzee. So let's have a look at Sudi. She is walking along. She's going to join us shortly. We are walking towards her exhibit. So we're moving from the Mandrel exhibit to Sudi's exhibit. So let's I'm just waiting a few minutes till Sudi comes close. And Sudi is about to eat a banana, so you can have a look. <laughs> she is sitting eating her banana. Good morning, Sudi. This is Sudi the chimpanzee. You can see how she peeled the banana. 
city loves fruits. Did you know chimpanzees are omnivores? They not only enjoy fruits, but in the wild, they would also eat small insects, reptiles, amphibians, and they're also known to eat meat. Yes. They can eat um, small animals as well. So Sudi loves bananas. Um, chimpanzees are one of the great apes. Good morning, Sudi. So hello to everyone who is looking on. We're live at the Emperor Valley Zoo and a zoo tour of our African exhibit and Sudi is having a banana this morning for, as part of her breakfast. She also loves to eat apples. She loves chimpanzee biscuits, which are healthy snacks for her. Let's see. Oh, she's actually eating a biscuit now. Look at her. Chimpanzees, along with bonobos, are human beings' closest living relatives. They share over 98% genetic blueprint with us humans. They are highly intelligent, and Sudi is quite fond of zoo stuff. She, she has um, enrichment toys that we give her, like balls and dolls and hanging ropes. She loves interacting with those she loved these biscuits as well which she's eating right now quite healthy for her she also loves to draw and paint so we would provide her daily with enriching activities which she she do engage in so the ones that we love we encourage her with um she's also known to wa to watch television which we put as part of her enrichment at times she loves looking at our giraffes and she just loves our staff as well her caregivers who are dedicated in looking after her she really is fond of them so good morning sudi good morning to everyone who's looking on at sudi eating her snack here at the emperor valley zoo you see how she's using her hands just like us to bring the treat up to her mouth she has brown eyes she has black fur. She also has some white fur speckled in between the black fur. Chimpanzees are mammals. They're found in the wild in Africa. Um, they face many threats as well. So it's really critical to protect chimpanzees before they're all gone off the face of the earth. So it's very important learning about these animals, these species, in order to, um, you know, take care of their population let's let's raise awareness and highlight the importance of these animals on our planet Sidi are you enjoying those biscuits yeah she was making some vocalizations before, I don't know if you guys heard, but she got really excited when we came over. As I said, she's fond of us. She knows our, her caregivers very well, um, especially the zookeepers, which look after her daily. And she is enjoying that biscuit. It's a plant-based biscuit, a very healthy treat for her. You can see her ears there. to just zoom down you can see her hands and feet So this is Sudi the chimpanzee enjoying a snack here this morning at the Emperor Valley Zoo in Trinidad and Tobago. Chimpanzees are African mammals. What a beauty she is. 
Sudi has lived a long time here at the zoo. She's an older girl. So her caregivers are quite dedicated in looking after her welfare, making sure she lives a nice enriching life here at the zoo. She's well taken care of. And she lives in an upgraded huge exhibit, a chimpanzee exhibit in the African um, section of the zoo here. Good morning. You can see her hand. She just came really close up to the camera, investigating it a bit. While she still munches on her snacks. <laughs> Scratching her head. So chimpanzees are apes and not monkeys. So did you know the difference between monkeys and apes? Remember, mandrills were the world's largest monkey. Monkeys, a major difference is that monkeys have tails and apes don't. So chimpanzee is a type of ape, while the mandrill was a type of mon monkey and the world's largest as well. So as the children look on, as the students and families look on in the video, if you have any questions about our zoo animals, feel free to ask. As we move along this video, we'll be answering those questions at the end of the video when we stroll through the comments, okay? So um, if any of the children have any questions at all, our staff here is happy to answer in the comment section. So you're watching Sudi the Chimpanzee live this morning at the zoo. Isn't she a beauty? She loves those biscuits, don't you, Sudi? It's her favorite snack. She also loves apples and pears. You saw earlier she ate a banana. She loves to eat grapes sometimes. So this is Sudi the chimpanzee, one of the most well-known animals at the zoo. Sudi is in her 40s, so she's a very, and I see some of you asking what is Sudi's age. She's in her 40s, um, so she's, a very, she's an old chimpanzee, but continues to progress very well here at the zoo. And our staff is dedicated and looking after her and not only her but all of the animals at the zoo or we know that you are not able to visit at this time but our staff remain here um, making sure the welfare of our animals are well taken care of So as we say goodbye to Sudi, goodbye Sudi, have a lovely day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Sudi live and close up right from the comfort and safety of your homes or wherever you are keeping safe at this time while we move along at the zoo to see our next animal. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. She is so fascinating. Our staff would just come by and spend time with her, which she loves. And it's just really incredible to see her behavior and her mannerisms and how she carries about doing things during her day. So as we walk along the zoo, we have one more species of animal to show you from our 
African exhibit here at the Emperor Valley Zoo. And zoological officer Charlene Pan, we are bringing the animals live to you guys. I'm assisted by um, zoo staff member Justin Singh. And we are going to take you. We are walking all the way to the other end now of the African exhibit to show you one more animal on our list. Now these animals, it's a group of them. Um, and they are just so full of personality. Everyone is unique in their ways. And uh, the males are a bit bigger than females. So I'm going to leave you guys so you can see what animal I'm talking about, what species I'm talking about for yourself. So let me just show you as we walk along. We are here and we're live at the zoo. So I was saying that when the zoo was started in 1947 then opened to the public in 1952 when the zoo was started we kept a lot of the trees around it's a very green zoo so we kept a lot of the flora so just giving you a look as we walk along to the last animal on our list here for first part of our tour of our african exhibit you can see it's a very green zoo and having the trees around is very critical to a healthy ecosystem because these trees support a lot of wildlife lots of birds iguanas snakes insects and so on that all form part of the ecosystem and because there's so much wildlife living in the trees those local common animals we don't keep in captivity because you during a visit to the zoo um, you can just look up and see those animals around so let's move on assisted by zookeeper Justin there and we're going to move on to see the final animal so what animal we have here Justin the warthogs I know Justin is quite fond of these warthogs because they're quite very fascinating to look at. So we're gonna come up this way, have a look at some of our warthogs. And they know we're here. The animals are quite familiar with the stuff, so they're up and about. They, they reside in this large exhibit, a group of warthogs. This is Pumba the warthog. Pumba was named after the iconic um, Lion King Disney character Pumba. And warthogs are known for those sharp tusks. They have four long sharp tusks. They're brown in color. They're also mammals, but they have sparse hairs on their bodies. So right now, our warthogs are roaming around their exhibit, searching for food. Now, in the wild, they use that shovel-like snout to dig up roots and bulbs. They're herbivores. They also feed on lots of plants. You can see how well their colors camouflage into the environment. Hello, warthog. Good morning. Now they get their names from those wart-like structures on their faces. Pumba has large warts on his faces. So those wart, can you see it? Those wart-like structures on their faces, they get their names from that. And they are in the same family as the domestic pig. If you look at those long tusks. Quite an, a fascinating animal to look at. So these animals are African mammals. And looking at them, you may think that they are aggressive animals, but they prefer to flee than fight in their wild. So their defense is to run away from danger. 
So we do have a family here, a group of both males and females. You can see those warts on their faces. They, those warts are protective bumps. They have a very thin, they have a very thin tail. They're exploring their exhibit here at the zoo. And warthogs are also an African species of animal. So this entire section of the zoo is dedicated to African animals and that part of the globe. Look at you, warthog. This is a big male here. Handsome, isn't he? His tusks are all grown out. That's a female passing to the front there. And if you listen, you can hear the macaws. I'm competing with the sound of the macaws. I hope you guys are hearing me. While you look on at our warthogs here at the zoo live. Watching live our warthogs, a group of warthogs, also called a sounder of warthogs here at the Emperor Valley Zoo where we bring the animals live to you on our tour this morning of the first part of the zoo, the African exhibit. Hope you're enjoying seeing our warthogs. Warthogs live in the wild in Africa as well. So I really hope, we hope here that you're enjoying seeing these really um, interesting looking animals, I should say. <laughs> so, I hope everyone looking on today um, continue to keep safe at home and while doing so, we staff here at the zoo while also keeping safe continue to care for our animals and i hope you enjoyed seeing our zebra giraffes mandrels chimpanzee and warthogs as part of our african exhibit here just the first part of the zoo as i said if any of the children or kids families looking on have any questions you can simply type it in the comment section and our staff will be happy to answer so Thank you guys for coming along on our zoo tour with us from zookeeper Justin and I. Thank you so much for joining in. We are happy to have you. And stay tuned for more live videos coming soon from the Emperor Valley Zoo. Thank you for watching and keep safe everyone while we continue to do so and look after our animals. Bye everybody.